A Singaporean news website Global Business Press has reported that officials from the Royal Malaysian Air Force have indicated that Malaysia is likely to select the South Korean FA-50 light combat aircraft. The report also claims that the chief of the Royal Malaysian Air Force has expressed keen interest in the FA-50 compared to the other competing aircraft, and the deal is expected to go through if the current government comes back to power in the coming elections. Meanwhile, the chairman of India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited had said recently that Malaysia has identified the Tejas light combat aircraft, as it would provide Malaysia with the option to go in for future upgrades of the fleet, and he also expressed confidence that the deal would be closed soon. A fire broke out on board INS Vikramaditya yesterday, and the fire was brought under control by the ship's crew using on-board firefighting systems, and all personnel on board the aircraft carrier are safe. The Indian Navy has said that a board of inquiry has been ordered to investigate the incident, and this happened at a time when the aircraft carrier was carrying out sea trials after it underwent a refit. The DRDO has still not selected an international partner for the co-development of the engine for the AMCA program, and talks are still ongoing with Rolls-Royce and Safran. French firm Safran has submitted its proposal for co-development of a 110 kN engine and highlighted the transfer of technology, and quoted the development cost to be around $6 billion, and that the new engine will enter production in 2035. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has been working on an unmanned ground combat vehicle based on the Arjun Mark 1A main battle tanks, and had released a tender for the development supply and integration of hardware for unmanned ground combat vehicle, along with design and development of autoloader, in which data patterns India Private Limited has emerged as the lowest bidder, while other bidders include Larson and Tubro Limited. Gridbots Technologies Private Limited, and Electronics Corporation of India Limited. Once the contract is awarded to Data Patterns India Private Limited, it will have to deliver the items and render the services in 28 months. Boeing has released a video of its F-A-18 Super Hornet Block 3 fighter jet, carrying out operational demonstration tests from Indian Navy's shore-based test facility at INS Hansa in Goa, and has announced that the successful completion of its trials in Goa has reinforced its ability to effectively and safely operate from Indian Navy carriers. The two U.S. Navy F-A-18E Super Hornets had completed multiple ski jumps, and also conducted performance flights in a variety of weights in the air-to-air, air-to-ground, and air-to-surface configurations, meeting the test requirements of Indian Navy. Reports indicate that the Indian Navy aims to move the procurement proposal for 26 carrier bond fighters to the Defence Ministry by the end of 2022. The Commanding-in-Chief of Maintenance Command of the Indian Air Force has said that the Maintenance Command has indigenously developed tyres for Su-30 aircraft and batteries for fighter jets and Mi-17 helicopters, and the Air Force won't be relying on imports of these items from 2025. He also said that the Maintenance Command is now focused on developing 200 critical avionic components within the country. The Maintenance Command has achieved 95% self-reliance in case of mandatory spares, and the Air Force has saved about 600 crore rupees by using indigenous items in the maintenance of assets including fighter jets over the last five years. Oh,